Well, how do that, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and we're into phase four of the Utopia expedition. So I must say I'm really quite enjoying this expedition, being into the galactic builder inside of abandoned systems. It kind of makes me feel like I've got a profession, and it's a daily job of Captain Steve, the Bob the Builder type guy. Yeah, pretty good fun. Anyway, let's hit this one up, and we're heading over to our next point in time. I mean... It'd be nice to pick up a mission like this inside of game, but maybe a shrunken, condensed version of sorts, perhaps. You know, we've got that um, build an outpost, but they could tie it into something like this and make it feel a little bit more meaningful, couldn't they, you know? And if it was multiplayer, maybe send you to a system where you, you all pick a planet each? Oh, my days, we're going to an infested planet, talking about choice of planets, heck yes. Yeah, that'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? So if you're doing it in, like, a, a fire team, it sends you to a system with four planets, and you'll go to one each, and you do a little bit of this, and yeah, boom, done, and you bring it back to life. That'd be pretty cool. It'd be awesome if you could actually repair the actual abandoned space station as well, and then maybe NPCs start appearing back on planets, so it feels like you've actually brought the system back from restitution. Anyway, we've reached the actual point, and this time, it's a trading post, not an archive. I've pretty darn freaking nice. I'm selling off a load of my stuff inside of this Galactic GT. Well, I haven't just yet, but I might do. Okay, right, so we're going to be picking up our next one. Yeah, I think my inventory is slightly full, so you know what? I, I might have to do a little bit of selling before we move on from here. But yeah, it looks like the location has popped. Yeah, I can see the icon. Right, yeah, let's just go back to the GT. I'm just going to sell a few bits. I'm going to speed up the footage of me selling a few things. But yeah, it's just the stuff that I don't think I'm going to need. But then saying that, you know... We've, We've had a couple of cookery missions, and I think there's one in this phase as well, so I'm holding on to some of the products, just in case I might need them in a recipe. But who knows? And plus, you know, Kronos, I can't go and give these to him to get a shed load of nanites, so I might just end up sending all this stuff off, who knows? But I can just put it in my sort of nutrient processor storage space for now. Anyway, we're taking off, we're going to the next point. Heck yes! So you know the drill by now, people. I've got to the location, now I have to build. The location it gave me, Sentinel Depot. <laughs> Oh, I don't know whether that's lucky or not. You know, if I get a mission where I have to kill sentinels or blow up a depot, perfect, but I'm quids in. But no. Anyway, let's hit on up this base computer and claim this area as mine and then we'll start building an awesome base. So people in the viewerverse, if you're liking this playlist, if you're liking my content, please hit that like and subscribe. It really does help my, my channel and it lets me know if people are enjoying what I do. So thank you. I'm going to be going for the prefab design again. What I like about the prefab design is it's got snap points, so you can put all like your um, solar panels and your batteries and stuff like that, and it actually locks to the ground, which is pretty cool. You don't have to cover them all over the roof and things. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that, putting the power sources inside, sort of hiding them away from eyes from the outside. There we go, just two sort of like round prefabs next to each other. I've uploaded that, freaking lovely. Right, cool, we can claim that. Heck yes, you can see I've got a portal in there. I've got batteries, solar panels, that sort of shenanigans all inside people. Here you go little butchers with your eye peepers and I've got some bio sort of harvesters in there but now we're gonna to have to put down one of these yeah so this is the multi-tool blueprint machine freaking great I might get myself an attachment for my pulse spitter I guess I might you know what I've got a cup of tea here people I'm gonna have a little sip of this lovely stuff awesome Right, oh, so yeah, I might as well unlock that while I'm in here. I mean, it's 180 freaking nanites. I've got loads of nanites. Loads, freaking shed tons. I haven't really spent all that much. Brilliant. So that's unlocked, because I do know that I've got to try and get some of those eggs. You know, the larval cores from the little green critters. Now, this planet's got them out in the wild. But my last base has got them all round it. So I might go back to my last base. Yeah, we'll see how we get on, people. Anyways, let's press on out and let's see what we've got to do next, shall we, people? I'm just going to tidy up my inventory, sped up this footage for you guys and the viewers, because it's a little bit tadly boring. And uh, yeah, well, next on the agenda is to make this thing. Great. Prepare syrup viscasa. That doesn't sound very appetising, does it? And look at the actual ingredients. Cactus, whispering eggs, hungering tendrils, fleshy woven lava cores. Yeah, that's the stuff of freaking nightmares, isn't it? Right, okay, fine. Right, well, we need the cactus. I think there's one growing on the side of the freaking mountain. Right, well, let's go and get that one. Hopefully, I'm not going to break my legs doing so. I really like this sort of helmet and the cape. I do look like some sort of cross between Darth Vader and an Imperial Trooper. You know, the Imperial Guard in the red. They were wicked, weren't they? The actual figures of those. I had one with a felt cloak. It was awesome. Yeah, sad. 
sad times. I sold all my Star Wars figures. My dad was like, oh, you've grown out of all your Star Wars now. You don't really play with them. And I was like, no, dad, but I want, I want to keep hold of them. I think they might be worth something one day. It's like, no, 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 look, they're just gathering dust. Sell them, sell them, get some money, buy yourself some Sega Master System games, because that's what was out at the time. And I was like, hmm. I do want Operation Wolf. <laughs> Sold all my freaking Star Wars. I probably, I almost had every figure, you know. I had loads. Sold it all and bought Operation Wolf and the light gun and a couple of other games. Yeah, light gun type games. And I thought it was awesome. I got some fun out of that. But yeah, could have paid off my freaking mortgage with that Star Wars stuff though. <laughs> Shite! Anyway, let's pick up this larval car. There was one of the stray eggs in the wild. You can see here that those freaking nippers, they do me a lot of damage. I've gone invisible, but they seem to still know where I freaking am. Okay, right, well, let's just get inside my base before they eat me alive. Ah! He freaking bit me in the freaking backside. Let me in! Let me in! Holy fudge, that was close. That was a panic station moment. I guess it was. Right, I'm going to teleport back to my other base because there's all eggs around that one. I should be able to grab them all lickety split and nice and quick, super easy peasy lemony squeezy. Where is the base? Is it that one? Yes, it is, with the satellite on the roof. Brilliant! Cool. I'm off. Ha <laughs> ha! So here I am back at the base. Over to the eggs I go. Now I'm going to shoot these eggs and I'm going to take their baby inside of its larval form. <laughs> Okay, who's the bad guy here? Who's the bad guy? I think it's me, isn't it? Right, okay, quickly, let's get inside the base and let's get back through the portal and let's head on back to my other base, I think, people. Actually, I've got a neutron process here. Now I've got one at my other base. We'll do it at the other base, people, just in case I need something off of that planet, like some more cactus or something. Right, brilliant, I'll see you back on over. And to the other base, people inside of the view of us. I guess I will. Salute to Mondo. Chicka-boom. Well, it's lucky I went back, because apparently I now have to get some hungering tendrils or fleshy rope from destroying these titan worm burrows, or the babies that live inside of them. So I'm now heading up the side of a mountain to take on out a titan worm burrow. Now, I don't know whether I need the vial spawn. The only trouble is with the vial spawn, much like the larval cause, it rolls. So if you've got it on a hill, it's going to go downhill, because gravity is its friend. So I think even if I do shoot this, I'm going to find it extremely hard to grab the vile spawn. I'm going to grab it anyway, just in case I need it. But I think you get hungry, uh, hungry tendrils just from killing one of the worm babies. So here we go. Let's head on over and let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to grab the vile spawn anyways, just in case. But here we go. Let's. Uh, well, I'm going to try my best to. Hungry tendril, got you. Right, yes, I've got flashy rope just for killing him. All right, and there goes the vile worm spawn. You see what I mean? Oh my days, I can't even fall that fast, oh, for fudge sake. Righto, well, yeah, I'm, I'm burning the soles out on the feet of my freaking boots. You know what, let's just, let's go all the way down. Am I taking damage right now? I think I, I am taking damage right now. Oh my days. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's unhealthy. <laughs> Literally unhealthy. And I think that, yeah, the vile spawn is despawned. Great. Okay, so this is definitely not the way to do it, is it? If you're going to do it this way, if you want the vile spawn, do it on a flat surface, is my tips for you people. But then again, this planet is so freaking hilly. I've just realised I've got to go way back to my base. It's at the top of this bloody mountain. I fell and it took me ages. It's going to take me twice as long to get back up. But for you guys in the Viewerverse, when that happens, I will cut the footage. <laughs> fudge sake okay well i've just got to hope people yeah don't do this at home just got to hope that there's some worm tendrils down here in the worm burrow nest right worm babes where are you again who's the bad guy here i'm going around murdering defenseless worm babes it's, it's a bit weird isn't it strange how you can't battle the actual parents the giant worms you know you'd think they'd want to take revenge for all the worm babes we've been destroying over the last few freaking months anyway are there any down here doesn't look like there is yeah, Oh, I spoke too soon. There's some right there. Okay, well, let's go do some worm baby murdering. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go on over to this titan worm burrow. Sweet. Here I come with my freaking evil looking death mask and cloak of... Oh, what just freaking bit me? Did you but... <sighs> freaking little plant bit me. Freaking heck. Okay, right. Take this, worm baby. In the freaking face. You're dead. Heck, yes, you are. Green snot. Okay, right. Did I grab it? I think I did. I think I got it. Yes, I did. Heck yes. One, one nil to Captain Steve. Okay, let's try this guy. Come on then. Kaboom. You're dead too. Right, let's see if we can grab that. Come on. Did I get it? Did I get it? I think I got it. Yes, I did. Two down. Okay, there we go. It was a oh no, there's a bit of a lip. Darn it. Fudge it. Oh, balls. I've lost that one. And that one's going to despawn. Oh no, no. I can get there in time. Come on. Like the wind, Captain Steve. Like the freaking wind. Oh. 
Oh no, you just did millisecond. A millisecond away from getting that one. Two to me. But um, I think the game won overall. You know what? I'll see you back at base. I'm back at base now, people. And I, I did get free in the end. I killed another one on the way back up the mountain. But yeah, let's just put that there. I don't even think I need them after all of that, though. And I think you get rewarded some anyway after doing this mission. Right, okay, cool. So first off, I've got to make processed sugar. So I need to put in some cactus flesh. There we go. Put that into there. I already put in six. Let's just get this done. Heck yes. There's my cactus nectar. Now I should be able to take the cactus nectar from that right side, put it in the left side, and that should turn it into processed sugar. Lovely jubbly. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's, um, let's grab that then. Let's stick that over into the opposite side. Let's see if that makes the processed sugar. It does indeedy doody. Of course it does. I have done quite a lot of cooking in the past, people. I have got a whole cookery playlist, if you want to see that playlist. I'll put it in the top right-hand corner. It'd be where my face is right now. Yeah, brilliant. There you go. Click my face. Done! Hopefully. It's weird. It doesn't seem to pop up on smart TVs and things. It only seems to happen on Android phonies and stuff, doesn't it? And maybe even iPhones. I don't know. I've never owned an iPhone. Right, okay. Brilliant. Let's go into the um, neutron processor again, then. Hold on. What the fudge is... Oh, I'm on the bloody ladder. Oh, for fudge's sake. Okay, cool. Right, let's go head back down here, then. Cool. And let's, um... Let's do the next ingredient. What's the next ingredient? Why is it not popping up in the bottom right corner? Hold on, it says that I need cactus nectar again. Refine from process. Oh, refine process sugar from. Okay. Well, it's it's got it in green that I still need it. So I'll just make some freaking more just in case it's a bit broken or something. Make some more cactus nectar and hopefully it's going to give me the next bit of blurb in the bottom right hand corner. Maybe I've done it too quick. Maybe I should have made the cactus nectar, put that in my inventory, then come out and then gone back in so it registered that I had cactus nectar. Don't know, it just seems to be a bit janky that it hasn't given me the next step. Here we go. Now it says prepare nightmare sausage. To cook syrupy viscous, place fleshy rope in the nutrient processor to create galatina membrane. Okay, right, we'll put the fleshy rope in there. And yes, it's making it. There we are. I, don't, I, I probably pronounced that totally wrong, people. Don't care. Right, cool. <laughs> Let's just process the dang thing. It's a bloody sausage. That's all I need to know, isn't it? Oh, no, it's a membrane. At the moment, it's a membrane membrane go on looks like a sausage right okay brilliant now what do i do okay let's go back in then uh we're gonna make nightmare sausage by putting in that membrane that we just got boom and then we put in larval cores okay all right so when do we use that sugar sugar dun, 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 dun. well there we go put that into there and that makes ourselves a nightmare sausage the sausage of nightmares Okay, well that's got weird connotations to it. My mind is going in places it should never go. All right, cool. That's giving me nightmares about sausages. Okay, cool. I'm brilliant. And uh, now, now what? Now what do we do? Okay, nightmare sausage and processed sugar. It sounds freaking yummy, doesn't it? You know, this is like something out of Jamie Oliver's cookbook. Right, there we go. Boom. And in there. And syrup viscous or whatever it is. Lovely. We're making that. We're making three of them because why the fudge not? Cool, you. Yeah. If you haven't come across a guy called Uncle Roger, I highly recommend him. He does great reviews of Jamie Oliver's cooking. <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. Yeah, anyway, there we go. Done and dusted. Brilliant. We've got that then. An acquired taste. Get off the freaking ladder. I really wish I didn't put that biodome up there. Didn't even need it. Cut it out of the footage because I didn't need it. I started growing my own cactus and then realised there was cactus on the planet. Fun times. Yeah, real, real story. <laughs> Cool. Right there. There we are. We've got the detoxified slime as a base building part that I don't think I've ever used apart from in a Halloween build I did freaking three years ago. Right. And it's just gifted me some vile spawn violets of things, or it's about to anyway. All right. Cool. Yeah. Well, we're about to go and do this one then. So we've got to go to a site and cleanse it of biological thingies. I'll play some music, people. Captain Steve, oh Captain Steve, oh Captain, Captain! Steve, how do you think you do? Oh, Captain Steve, oh, Captain Steve, I want to play the game with you. Yeah, I'm not going to play that game.
I spoil you sometimes, don't I? I totally do. Totally, totally spoil you. Anyway, into the abandoned station we go, and hopefully this is all going to start making sense as to why this system was abandoned, located in the first freaking place, and let's land. Isn't it weird how it says welcome home inside of here? I'm now starting to wonder whether it's been changed to welcome home because of this update and no other reason. I was thinking maybe we might get ownership of these abandoned systems so we can terraform areas of space and this expedition is making me think well they might implement something like this expedition as a game mechanic. I mean they did after all with emergence with worm babies and now we've got worm babies on planets so who knows. Anyway here we go construction history classified dossier. Okay right they're reading through this. Hazards encountered. Okay brilliant and uh, yeah it was booming at one stage by the looks of things people but it looks like they started drilling and then um, some sort of plasma thing maybe happened something don't know it's not like we've got giant drills in games who freaking knows what the fudge happened i was hoping we'd get some sort of insight into abandoned systems but in this case not so much okay fine anyway we've unlocked that brilliant eh? awesome right so what's next then have i completed it is that everything done Eliminate hunger and tendrils, five of eight. I've got to take out another three of the little gits, people in the view of us, if my maths is right. Okay, well, you know what? I can use the actual teleporter here inside of the station, can't I? Which I'm going to do after I've tidied up my inventory. We're going to leg it over to the opposite side of this actual abandoned station and jump through the teleporter back down to the planet I was just on, the infested planet. And we're going to take on out some more worm babbers, or these tendril nests, whatever you want to call them. Lovely. Here I am, back on good old Blighty, this infested dump hole near to a freaking deposit full of sentinels. I know. Lucky, right? Yeah, getting all the luck this episode. Cool. Uh, well, again, phase two, I freaking died in a volcano. So, you know, which one's more lucky? I don't know. I think I've had a pretty unlucky shout to be fair on this expedition. If you had it worse than me, let us know. Right, so let's head on down here. A lot of people did sound off in the comments, actually, saying that the volcano killed them as well. So, yeah, I feel a bit better about my lame death drawing a guide video <laughs> yeah go cool. anyway i do like to leave in the stuff like that i mean at the end of the day we're all human we all make mistakes and that one was a rather toasty mistake yeah that was from the old mortal Kombat. was that mortal Kombat 2 toasty yeah it's when you fight smoke isn't it or was it reptile it's one or the other i think it was smoke anyway let's head on down here die freaking goro looking git with no arms i think he's got the goro type looking face but he actually hasn't it looks more like predator doesn't it from the, the movie predator Go on, let's head on down here and let's shoot this guy. Oh no, he's not popped out yet. Come on! Die! Freaking die! Death be had you. There we go. We've now got the Parasite badge. Excellent. And I can head on back on up to the actual top of here and get back to my base. So it's, it's actually called a Parasite and this is like a worm-filled sort of planet. It almost feels like a computer virus in actuality, doesn't it? The whole void creep type stuff. Anyway, there we go. We've now got the Robo Warden. So let's, um, let's have a look at that Robo Warden in action. So it gives us an egg. It's a robot that hatches from an egg. All right, no, I didn't science this. Okay, come on, let's put that there. Chicka boom. Lovely jubbly. Hello there, little robot from an egg. Yeah, so we're going to gently pat thee and give you a treat because apparently you eat bait sticks rather than ion batteries. Not expecting that. Okay, come on. We've got our own little robot droid now that does nothing. Brilliant, eh? Heck yes, you can have yours that does nothing as well, the people in the view of us. Until next time, people, you've been awesome. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people in the view of us. Cheery bye. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. Add Froze Revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.